Hey everybody, Radamon here. Thanks for tuning in to The Philosopher King, a RimWorld royalty series about being a benevolent ruler in a benevolent society with these rules and goals to help guide us. Additionally, you all get to choose projects that I prioritize working on, and here they are. Recapping from last episode, we had finished the Imposing Assembly Monument. We are working on the Godswood Nature Shrine, and we are doing a pretty good job over here in the kill box. Uh, one thing I'm going to do is stop building the roof for now um, so that we can construct the barricades with, um, with sunlight. So, one of the next goals that I have is to make sure that everybody has good armor. Uh, so to that end, let's start working on that. I'm going to queue up making up to two spare recon armor from 95 to 100 hit points, normal to good quality with zero. And Tempcraft stockpile is where we'll haul it. I'll also probably want to put some uranium in this shelf here. So let's start hauling that uranium over. And this is going to allow every single one of our guys to be wearing uh, recon armor, which is going to be much more protective, even than the double strand. We'll have double strand underneath for uh, button-down shirts and pants. Let's start cutting limestone again. And soon get that nature shrine built. I'm also going to want some additional uh, shelving. I broke some shelves down um, that were uh, granite to reclaim the granite. And I want to replace them with marble. I have a lot of other granite shelves in case I do need to continue to do that. But um, something tells me I won't. And we have a... Whoa. Whoa. All right, we have a rather large mech cluster to the east. No auto mortars, uh, which is good. It's just the traditional fare. A lot of unstable power cells, um, but perfectly lined up so they won't chain together. As you can see, each cell is outside of the blast radius of the previous cell. Uh, this has a proximity activator, as you can see with the red um, so I think what I'm going to do is schedule everybody to safe, basically keeping them inside, and uh, all my animals into grazing so that they don't go wandering out into the mech cluster. Keep them all restricted. So as far as I could tell, uh, a bunch of these sealed capsules, there are no sleeping mechs here, but we have a bunch of sealed capsules that will trigger. I don't see any, um, I don't see any, uh, mortar shields. And this toxic spear will start to spew out toxic fallout in about eight days time. Well, that's certainly one way to kick off an episode, I guess. Well, the obvious answer here is to uh, shell it. I don't think I'm going to use anti-grain warheads. I don't think that they're required. Uh, so let's set this up for HE shells only. Now my, um, I guess I could call it a kill box. My defenses here are not set up yet for me large mechs and anything like that. You know, it just, I haven't, uh, I'm going to temporarily add this zone to safe so we can work over here. But yeah, I haven't really finished up this construction project. Um, which means I don't really have the best anti-mech defenses. Uh, but that's something I can definitely work on. So let's try to clear this cluster out quickly. Uh, that way I can get back to work as usual because I also wanted to build or at least start to build the rehabilitation and uh, to set up the large nature shrine walls and the like. Uh, so to that end, 
we will switch out everybody because we're fighting mechs. We will switch out everybody to sniper rifles. I manufactured uh, last episode. Manufactured a whole bunch of sniper rifles for this um, type of attack. One where we need to outrange the enemies. So I think everybody in a second here will have a sniper rifle. So let's see. Zero, yes, 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 yes. Everybody, literally everybody has sniper rifles. Perfect. All right. And then, um, for starters, I'm going to have these four hop on turrets, making sure that their needs are currently met because they are not going to be resting anytime soon. And let's go operate the turrets, but set to hold fire. So I'm going to probably try to I'm not actually that worried about that toxic spewer because it won't initiate for a bit so let's go ahead and try to nail the mech assembler now mortars are notoriously inaccurate so the chances of me actually hitting the mech assembler is pretty low I am also going to update the animal hall or the safe zone to really not include um Anything on the other side of my uh, my welcoming gate. All right, so here comes the initial mortars. Yep, we totally destroyed the uh, the mech assembler, which is great. We only really have one centipede to worry about. The rest are smaller. Um, Lancer's in there for sure, but... It's not too, too terrible. Alright. The next volley will aim for... The Toxic Spewer. Actually, you know what? Do I have time for this volley? I hope I do. Alright, let's get our defenders up to the walls just fire one two three four all right that was a decent hit didn't destroy it but hey you know it made some progress all right so in a second here we're gonna have some lancers um, bearing down on us. Animals, I'd like for all of you to go to the barn for your own safety. I'm offering up my shield belted protected people as targets. Uh, so that. Lancers preferentially fire on the ones who are guarded. And let's make sure we're taking out uh, a Lancers as much as we can. Alright, so that's a steel mini turret that is not going to hold. Now the only other problem is, because I don't have my charge rifles or anything like that, I have a pretty slow rate of fire. Which isn't necessarily ideal for this task. Uh, I'm going to risk choking up for a better shot. Alright, 
So now it's the March of the Pike Mignon Sway. I'd like to get back up. Here's a little trick here. Turn everything off. And attack them from another angle. Because, of course, we've got a centipede coming in from behind. So, um, what we want to do is we want to isolate the enemies and take them off one by one. And then, of course, uh, try to figure out how to clear the rest of these turrets. Uh, the trouble with that, of course, is that those turrets um, have as much range as a sniper rifle, so they're not going to be very easy to clear. Uh, Bubaloo and Talon, let's go on the counterattack now. And I just need to stay away from these the pikemen range. So as to not get too, too hurt. And my brawler melee crew will uh, continue to skip and bash Pikemen. Alright, obviously I can't go too far south because that's where the cluster is. So we're just going to... Keep fighting the way we're fighting. Oh, Bubaloo did get bruised. Okay, let's have Bubaloo back up. The uh, L-Tech stab doesn't really do any damage. So, it's really not uh, a high, you know, it's not worth endangering Bubaloo. Alright, so as you can see here, I am just skipping the other pikemen uh, into the turrets and letting the turrets clear them out. I don't want Bubaloo to take too much damage, and the centipede, as you can see, has decided to keep pursuing my snipers but then the other uh, pikemen have not. Okay. Centipedes down. Go skip these pikemen. All of the all of the, the immediate threat is gone and I'm gonna let uh, Mathis we're gonna need tending from you Mathis don't go anywhere so the remaining turrets aren't going to be easy to take care of because they are overlapping one another. This is probably a need for shells, I'd imagine. It's not going to be another easy way to do it. I'm going to try to give a speech from the throne um, to encourage everybody to do their best work. 
uh, because the moods here are a little bit lower. Just a little bit. Alright, so other than the Toxic Spewer, uh, this stuff out here doesn't really pose an immediate threat unless I walk to it. So as, a lo as long as I keep my guys safe from that area, they should be just fine. Um, dignified, natural, talent, what about you? Just natural? Hmm. Yep, the, we can't pray out here. These uh, auto-inferno turrets um, would fire on us and damage the, uh, burn up all the anima grass and that'd be bad. What a long speech. And it's uninspiring. Great. Perfect. Minus four. Guess I had that coming. Giving a speech while he's wounded and all. The the fact that he was wounded actually didn't harm the speech in any way. It's just chance. Alright, so we have a lot of mechs out in our kill box. Um, or welcoming uh, gate. <laughs> I suppose we also have the Architect Arm, um, that I should install in Talon on his right. What other tricks up my sleeve do I have? Manhunter Pulse. Do I know this? No, I don't. Alright, let's learn Manhunter Pulse, Neurotrainer Melee. Let's use this before it doesn't isn't useful anymore. So the Manhunter Pulse Psycast uh, could be quite useful, but actually, you know what? One way to clear out let's check wildlife. Yeah, one way to clear out the um, the mech cluster. Uh, so animals, let's put you back on grazing because it's somewhat safer. Is to Oh, why are you out? Oh, because you are not in safe. That would be my fault. I was trying to go out. Uh, one way to clear it out is to pulse psychic animal um, and and trigger all the animals on this map tile to go, go batty. Uh, Bubblu, are is your leg okay? Bubblu's legs are hurt, so he's not going to be able to outrun crazy animals. He might be able to outskip himself, but um, the the idea I had was maybe making a bunch of rhinos or something go crazy and and do some damage down here. But my guess is rhinos get pretty shredded pretty quick. Uh, but I kind of want to see if it's it's a viable solution. So I'm going to go go ahead and do it anyway. It's also getting pretty late in the season, um, and I think it would be good if I do some corn harvest. Alright, so Manhunter Pulse. It's a huge uh, radius that it covers, and here we go. This is sort of what I was hoping. As you can see, this rhino didn't fare well, and actually lost the uh, Manhunter um, designation before it, it ended. So, not as helpful as I thought it would be. If there was a bunch of wild animals... Oh, there's a few wild animals actually right here at the... Uh, at the mech cluster, but it would be very difficult to, uh, to trigger it. Alright, so we've got Masterwork. I'm gonna wear it on Zero, so Zero can be well protected to continue to make Masterworks. Right, fine. 
Uh, here's what we'll do. We are going to shell them to hell. Sorry, Stallion. Took surprisingly little damage from that mortar shell. I don't know, you, 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 yeah, you got pretty damaged. Alright, let's go for the toxic spewer as well. So kind of don't want it spewing its... Oh, man, guys. Leave the horse alone. Now, another uh, way to do this would be to have someone like uh, Talon, who's currently out of commission, but have someone like Talon ready to go brawl, hit it with a EMP shell, and and try to uh, brawl out the the uh, the auto charge turrets, and maybe use wall rays and things like that. Uh, dangerous monument. Probably not going to trigger. Uh, let's see. Nope. Sorry. Too many monuments. Falstopia is now in recon armor. Now, as you can see, the uh, the turrets really do overlap one another quite well. And there's not really an easy way to get to any one of them without being attacked by all of them. And, you know, their range is beyond sniper rifles. So, uh, doesn't pose an immediate threat, but it is something I'm going to want to clean up. Talon, one of the uh, nice effects of having an architect arm is uh, he'll be able to make art faster now as well. It's kind of nice. And we are making a whole lot of limestone blocks for our next monument. Shay, I want you alone just trying to shell the uh, Toxic Spewer. Now, another solution would be to call for backup, um, but because we do have the rule that we have to cremate and bury or cremate and return urns to the, our fallen allies, uh, it is somewhat of an expensive, um, an expensive way to clear out a, uh, a mech cluster. Blue, I'm gonna have you clean the base. Toxic Spear is down to a third. Now the ones that are really dangerous, of course, are the auto charge turrets, and there's only three of them. The Inferno turrets I can tank a little bit, especially with a uh, water skip. So zero is just making shells as Shay fires them off. Uh, hey, Poppy, you want to join in? Maybe you have better aim than uh, than Shay. Now this is a very steel and chem fuel expensive way to clear out a uh, a mech cluster, but oh, there's a there's a big hit.
Toxic Spear has been destroyed. Good shot, whoever that was. Jay, you're starving, so you're off. Uh... And we'll give Poppy a rest, too. So another thing I want to queue up, other than the recon armor, I guess I'm going to wait until the recon armor is done, is, of course, cataphract helmets for all of the people that are wearing recon armor. That will be the best way to protect ourselves. Wow, you guys really made a lot of limestone blocks. I think what I'm going to do is temporarily allow animals to haul these blocks uh, down. Animal hauling should also probably not include the ambrosia here, just so that they can't eat it. Um, but this ambrosia zone is, uh, you know, you only get so much ambrosia until the ambrosia plants die, so there's a... Oh, oh boy. Royal Tribute Collector coming in. Uh, hope they don't get too close to the mech cluster, because that's going to be a problem. I don't think they will. That's generally... That'd be unusual. Alright, animals. Uh, oh, yeah. One of the issues that I have right now is... All of my haulers, animal haulers, um, yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna repaint it. It's gonna be too annoying. All my animal haulers aren't, aren't allowed to go haul anything because they're locked in the animal grazing zone because of the mech cluster, and uh, it'd be a little dangerous to uh, to change that. So, Bubbaloo, I'm going to try something a little risky with you, but you're ready to, to be risky. So, I want to see if I can't get close enough to this cluster of animals to Berserker Pulse them. Or uh, Manhunter Pulse, rather. So, the way I'm going to do this is hit Invisibility. Skip myself. Yeah, here we go. And the mech cluster can't see me. Come on, Alpaca, you could do it. Oh, there we go. See, it worked. Little uh, animal manhunter pulse. So that took out the... Um, that obviously took out the southern charge. And... Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and try to shell... The northern ones. Um, Chris and Faustupia. I'm going to have you man these turrets. And let's see. Mathis and Tally. With an unstable power cell. Oh, they aren't flammable though, I don't think. It'd be nice to be able to keep one. One being the un unstable power cell, because uh, they're really, really good for um, deep drill remote mining sites. Now we're down to one charge. I'll give it another volley or two. One more volley, and then uh, I'll give up shelling it. Okay. Because there's other ways to do it, and I'm going to probably use these other ways, using psychasts like wall rays, to get close. Uh, now, there is a dead zone on these four tiles that the incendiary launchers won't attack one another, but I don't think I'm going to be using that dead zone. But you could hypothetically skip a shooter into it right here, and have them be able to attack those two. So, what, eh, maybe, I, maybe I do do that. Maybe I do cast a visibility and have a shooter go do that. That wouldn't actually be a terrible idea. 
but I'll do that tomorrow morning. Um, so I think I know how I'm going to take out that otter charge turret. I'm just going to snipe it down, offering up Talon as a human target, essentially. Not the sexiest job, but he does have a shield belt, so he should be all right. The zone isn't considered safe at the moment, so as a result, none of the blocks are being hauled there. There we go. Right, Empire Spirit's leaving. Looks like they got in a bit of a social fight. Not really my problem. All right, so tomorrow morning, uh, it will be Operation Clear This Cluster. Being able to reclaim two unstable power cells would be very cool, too. everybody's awake. I'm going to wait for everybody, including you, Shay. Goodness, how bad is this? It's an excellent bed. Fooled me. Alright, now that she's eaten, it is go time. So the maximum range here is about here. So let's get all of our snipers down in it. So no closer than where Talon is. All right. And Talon is going to offer himself up as a target. Everybody snipes out the charge turret. Right, zero got hit by the blaster. Oh, the turret's already gone. Alright, so let's put our... Well, no, there's actually some small sluggers. Um, and then I want to try the weird... Uh, dead zone. So, Mathis, I'm going to have you be the dead zone experiment. T. Have everyone go back home. So, Mathis, that means switching to a charge rifle. Actually, zero. Go to the hospital and I'll have Mathis patch you up. Didn't get a whole lot of uh, work done this episode. Mostly just because of the mech clusters and all. All, right, all patched up. Oh, please don't pay, take off your pants. Just leave leave your pants on for now. So then, uh, what is the, the maximum range is about here. I'm going to... How close can I skip you? I can't skip you close enough. So what I'll do is I'll cast invisibility on you. Get you close. And then have you walk into the dead zone where these turrets can't hurt you. Alright, well this mech cluster has been dismantled now. 
Talon's just here for a bit of moral support, I guess. Well, ow. <sighs> Talon's here for tanking support. Uh, Alright, so we did manage to claim one unstable power cell, um, which is very good. I'm going to install this here. Uh, let's go schedule everybody to the blue zone, non-bloodlust, except for our two bloodlusters. And then all of the animals back on hauling, except for, of course, the grazers. We did get shredded a little bit, but it's really not that serious. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll survive it. Let's destroy all the remaining mech clusters buildings. And then this unstable power cell, I'm just going to plug in um, so it generates us power. Bobaloo, it's time to do some tending. Okay, cluster's gone. And we're back to progress. We've got uh, 18 hours left on this monument, keeping it intact. I'm going to start allowing sewing. I think it's a bit too early to do it, but, uh, yeah. All right, zero's back on steel. All of the shells that I, I, uh, used in our defense were very, very expensive. So we're down to zero steel again. I don't think there's any... Yeah, there's really no terrestrial steel. So at this point, we're working on the barricades. Why is there meat out here? It's a real good question. War March coming in from Red Viper. Cool. Mathis, you're on your way to healing. Hay grass is dying off because of cold. I guess I could try to harvest it, but it's really not that serious. I have a ton of hay in storage. Right, let's trade with the Walmart merchant. Well, they have a lot of uh, animals for trade, I guess. But we'll trade with them when we're up. I have uh, more beer than I probably need. Shredded clothing that I can ditch. Uh, what do they have to buy? That is maybe the better question. If Hill Root. I'm probably about to get a huge surplus of heal root, but uh, I'll buy it anyway. What else can they afford? Some dusters? Not much. They're uh, they're pretty poor. I could sell some ambrosia. Get every last, all but one of the silver they have. There we go. Mathis is fully healed. Our hauling pets are helping to grab the plasteel that's uh, available for harvest. Shh. 
Shea is desperately... Right. This... We shouldn't clean this zone anymore. It's, uh... It's one of those, like, it's always going to be dirty. So, what I'm going to do is just add spots where I need to prepare things, but not clean anything. Alright, so we're getting the barricades constructed. And once they're constructed, then I'm going to start roofing everything off. Uh, zero. How about you machine for the steel? Yeah, because there is a lot of mechs to break down. Alright, so this is ready to be uh, deconstructed entirely. And here is a little trick. What I'm going to do is clear the limestone blocks and then make sure that limestone blocks, and this is a uh, suggestion by Turtle Sandwich, make sure that the limestone blocks don't have anywhere to go. Like, there is no valid, uh, there is no valid stockpile for them. So that when we remove this monument, uh, we leave all of the mindstone, mindstone, all of the limestone in place. Uh, where are you trying to haul this? Uh, and that allows us to then just build in place. So actually, I need to figure out where you're trying to haul this limestone. Okay, so these shelves are valid. Let's get rid of that. No, oh, well, one of these shelves is not like the other. This one was missing all of its designations. And then, uh... Okay, no place to... Okay, perfect. So now there is literally nowhere in my base where limestone is allowed to be hauled. So when we break this down, it will just be one big jumble of limestone blocks broken down from the monument. Which means that when we construct the new monument, the materials to construct the new monument are already right there in place, right? Um, so that was, you know, by design. Okay, my guests are leaving, cutting through my base. We've almost picked apart the everything um, from the mech cluster, leaving almost no sign of it, other trace of it, other than some capsules. Yeah, that mech cluster was particularly lengthy to take care of. So the eastern barricades are almost done. I suppose because this is only extremely impressive, I can uh, spruce up my dining room area a little bit more for a further mood boost. Wouldn't hurt. Finally working on the Godswood, with like one minute in this episode to go. I, uh, I grant you it's pretty laughable how late, how slow that progress has been, but we've been working on other things. Alright, so the eastern barricades are done. And then of course we'll have to have a huge effort on all of our constructors to make this monument quickly. But uh, I have it on good authority that they're pretty capable. And we'll do that pretty quickly. All right, let's also queue up some of the limestone chunks around the map to be hauled in to our stockpile by probably animal haulers, preferably. There we go, perfect. Okay. 
and then the Western Barricades are coming together pretty soon. I'm just going to, um, no, I guess I'm, I am out of time. But uh, hopefully next episode we don't get a mech cluster landing on our heads, delaying progress. So next episode, at least all of the Shrines of the Gods would, and uh, possibly working on the monument. We did manufacture a few uh, pieces of armor, and of course clear out an entire mech cluster. If you have any tips, tricks, feedback for me, I do appreciate them. Just drop me a line in the comments below. If you'd like to hop on Discord, you can find the link to Discord at rodamont.com, and that's the best place to discuss. Thanks for watching, everybody. I really, really appreciate it. I'll catch you all next episode, friends. Farewell.